students, welcome to the Heath. You'll remember in Act 1, Scene 5, Lady Macbeth planted the idea into her husband's head that they should murder the king. <laughs> he wasn't too persuaded by that. She's going to persuade him today to be a little more decisive. Uh, but meanwhile, Macbeth is being festive with the king at... Inverness Castle, where you can see Lady Macbeth on the battlements. She's going to be joined shortly by her husband, but at the moment he's busy entertaining the king. The king's guards and the Thane of Fife, Macduff. But how does Macbeth feel about the murder? Well, not happy at the moment. He's feeling very anxious. He knows that the king has been grateful for him, to him. He says that angels will plead trumpet-tongued against the great damnation of Duncan's taking off. So Macbeth knows that committing regicide, killing the king, someone who's been so generous by promoting him, is going to upset that great chain of being. It's going to offend God. So, as we leave Macbeth to join his wife for an encouraging talk, we'll put the king and the gods to bed. <sighs> and arrange Macbeth to join his wife. take out some notes and Lady Macbeth begins her persuasive speech. We will proceed no further in this business. He hath honoured me of late, and I have bought golden pinions from all sorts of people, which would be worn now in their newest gloss, not cast aside so soon. Was the hope drunk where you dressed yourself? Hath it slept since, and wakes it now to look so green and pale at what it did so freely? From this time, such I account thy love. Art thou feared to be the same in thine own act and valour as thou art in desire? Wouldst thou have that which thou esteemst the ornament of life, and live a coward in thine own esteem, letting I dare not Wait upon, I would, like the poor cat of the adage. If we should fail. We fail? But screw your courage to the sticking place, and we'll not fail. When Duncan is asleep, whereto the rather shall his day's hard journey soundly invite him, his two chamberlains will <coughs> I with wine and wassail so convince that memory, the warder of the brain, shall be a fume and the receipt of reason a limbeck only. When in swinish sleep their dredged natures lie as in death, what cannot you and I perform upon the unguarded Duncan? What not put upon his fundy officers, who shall bear the guilt of our great quell? I'm settled and bend up each corporal agent to this terrible feat. Away and mock the time with fairest show. False face must hide what false heart doth know. <laughs>